Hello everyone, and welcome back to Memer's Well Folklore. Happy Halloween. I'm super happy to talk about Halloween stuff, finally. Today's source is Halloween Lore, a collection of folklore by Carolyn Emmerich. Halloween is a very ancient observance. It was celebrated by the ancient Celtic people as a time when the dead lingered and were closest to the land of the living. It is known in Gaelic as Samhain, which is related to the other Celtic terms for the festival and is perhaps the oldest term we have for it. It is called Halloween in English, being a contracted form of All Hallows' Eve, meaning something to the effect of Holy Night. The church tried to destroy it for its overt pagan origins by replacing it with All Saints' Day, similar to how Yuletide has slowly been superimposed with Christmas and Imbolc was replaced with Candlemas. But All Saints' Day has never really stuck with the same cultural weight and recognition as Halloween. Halloween is the day that the veil between the living and the dead is lifted, and the two worlds are free to intermingle. Because of this, on the day, honoring your ancestors and warding away malicious spirits was customary. In Ireland, the druids would pour out libations for the dead, a libation being a sort of offering for a spirit in the form of a liquid, typically an alcoholic beverage such as mead or wine. The jack-o'-lantern served that latter purpose of protecting the home from evil spirits. Your home is protected by the spirit of the lantern. That is what it means. A jack is simply a spirit, and that is where Jack Frost gets his name. He's the spirit of the frost. Jack O'Lantern is a contraction of Jack of the Lantern. The jacks in these lanterns protect the home, as I was saying. By carving a lantern as frightening as the evil spirits themselves, they are scared away from the home. The original jack-o'-lanterns were not carved out of pumpkins, since pumpkins are not native to Europe and rather Mexico. In the olden days, they were carved from other vegetables such as beets, gourds, and turnips. And of course, there was more of a focus put into making the jack-o'-lanterns scary, as they were actually meant to scare away spirits. Halloween, as a tradition, is maintained in North America. Originally introduced by Irish immigrants, and interestingly in recent years, the Japanese have adopted it, and they seem to love it. In the British Isles, it mostly died out before being reintroduced in the last 20 years, perhaps owing to American media. So it's sort of funny that people over there will think of it as an imported American tradition when it originally came from there and existed there for millennia. Interestingly, in North America and Japan, Halloween costumes are not necessarily scary, but they always have to be in the UK. Brits won't dress up as Spider-Man, for example. Trick-or-treating is related to Christmas caroling and wassailing. There used to be more customs that involved going door-to-door. -door. Wassailing is a Christmas thing, so I won't linger there, but I'll just mention that it's like caroling, but you're expected to carol back at the carolers, and if you don't do it as well as them, you have to give the carolers a meal. Whoever decides who wins the caroling battle, I'm not sure. This reminds me of how there's a trick option in trick or treating, as part of these traditions seems to be that one side always wins the interaction. Trick or treat was originally a threat. Give us treats or we'll play a trick on you. Dressing up is another way to scare away evil spirits. Imitation of a spirit by dressing up is a very universal and ancient tradition. Historically, young men would dress up and go out and have a riotous party around bonfires, 
and they would actually pull up crops and throw them to break windows. If you pulled a plant and it was straight, then your future partner would be straight or healthy in mind and body. Young women had a similar tradition where they would gather near the churchyard and perhaps the wraith of their future husband would come to them. Given the riotous nature of these nights and the fact that there was a focus on future lovers for both boys and girls, I would guess, though I do not know, that the young men and women would intermingle. There are ancient festivals related to Halloween that are still observed in the UK, such as Hoptuna on the Isle of Man. Traditionally, Halloween was a time to cull the weaker farm animals that won't make it through the winter so that the strong ones have more food. The animals that remained were brought inside to be protected from the cold and the evil spirits that came out at the time. Whenever you kill a bunch of animals, there is also naturally a feast, so this was a time of feasting and celebration. There is a song that children would sing during Hoptuna that reflects this tradition. This is old Hollandtide night, Hoptuna, the moon shines bright, tra-la-la, cock of the hens, Hoptuna, supper of the heifer, tra-la-la. Which heifer shall we kill, Hoptuna, the little speckled heifer, tra-la-la. This is reminiscent to trick-or-treating rhymes that used to be said by children during the last century. If you are going to give us anything, give it us soon, or we'll be away on the light of the moon. There are many other traditions, such as in Scotland, where after a bonfire, the ashes would be gathered and every family would take the ashes and place them inside a circle around a rock. And if that rock had moved by the time they got up in the morning, someone in that family would die in the following year. Because if it had moved, it meant they were cursed by a fairy. In Ireland, for November Eve, as it was called there, the fairies would link hands with the risen dead and party with them all night, provided that the dead weren't busy battling with their bones. There are many Halloween traditions associated with fairies and witches and spirits of all kind. So as you can see, Halloween is very ancient and has a lot of traditions and history behind it, and uh, it isn't uh, just as simple as what you may be familiar with. It goes a long way back and it's related to all sorts of different festivals and it has very overt pagan origins. So have a very happy Halloween and thank you so much for watching.